Step into the magical world of talent, grace, and activism as we unravel the captivating journey of an extraordinary actress and humanitarian. From her debut as the brilliant Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter series to her remarkable contributions in the realms of gender equality and environmental sustainability, this is the inspiring biography of Emma Watson. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Emma Charlotte Duer Watson known professionally as Emma Watson was born on April 15, 1990 in Paris, to English lawyers Chris Watson and Jacqueline Lusby. Watson lived in Maisons Lafitte near Paris until age 5. Her parents divorced when she was young, and Watson moved to England to live with her mother in Oxfordshire while spending weekends at her father's house in London. Watson has said she speaks some French, though not as well as she used to, 13. After moving to Oxford with her mother and brother, she attended the Dragon School, remaining there until 2003. From age 6, she wanted to become an actress, and trained at the Oxford branch of Stagecoach Theatre Arts, a part-time theatre school where she studied singing, dancing, and acting. By age 10, Watson had performed in Stagecoach productions and school plays including Arthur, The Young Years and The Happy Prince, but she had never acted professionally prior to the Harry Potter series. After the Dragon School, Watson moved on to Headington School, Oxford. While on film sets, she and her castmates were tutored for up to five hours a day. In June 2006, she took GCSE school examinations in 10 subjects, achieving 8A asterisk and 2A grades. In May 2007, she took AS levels in English, Geography, Art, and History of Art. The following year, she dropped History of Art to pursue the 3A levels, receiving an A grade in each subject. Watson took a gap year after finishing secondary school to film Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, parts 1 and 2 beginning in February 2009, but asserted that she intended to continue her studies and later confirmed she had chosen Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. In March 2011, after 18 months at the university, Watson announced she was deferring her course for a semester or two, though she attended Worcester College, Oxford during the 2011-12 academic year as part of the visiting student program. In a 2014 interview on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Watson said just before graduation that it took five years to finish her degree instead of four because, owing to her acting work, she ended up taking two full semesters off. On May 25, 2014, she graduated from Brown University with a Bachelor of Arts degree in English Literature. Emma Watson is an English actress, model and activist. Known for her roles in both blockbusters and independent films, as well as for her women's rights work, she has received a selection of accolades, including a Young Artist Award and three MTV Movie Awards. Watson has been ranked among the world's highest paid actresses by Forbes and Vanity Fair, and was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time Magazine in 2015. Watson attended the Dragon School and trained in acting at the Oxford branch of Stagecoach Theatre Arts. As a child, she rose to stardom after landing her first professional acting role as Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter film series, having previously acted only in school plays. Watson also starred in The Ballet Shoes, the 2007 television adaptation of the novel Ballet Shoes, and lent her voice to The Tale of Despero, 2008. After the final Harry Potter film, she took on a supporting role in My Week with Marilyn, 2011, before starring as Sam, a flirtatious, free-spirited student in The Perks of Being a Wallflower, 2012, to critical success. Further acclaim came from portraying Alexis Nyers in Sofia Coppola's The Bling Ring, 2013, and the titular character's adoptive daughter in Darren Aronofsky's biblical epic Noah, 2014. That same year, Watson was honored by the British Academy of Film and Television Arts, winning British Artist of the Year. She also starred as Belle in the live-action musical romantic fantasy Beauty and the Beast, 2017, and as Meg March in Greta Gerwig's coming-of-age drama Little Women, 2019. From 2011 to 2014, Watson split her time between working on films and continuing her education, graduating from Brown University with a bachelor's degree in English literature in May 2014. That year, she was appointed a UN Women Goodwill Ambassador and helped launch the UN Women Campaign He For She, which advocates for gender equality. In 2018, she helped launch Time's Up UK as a founding member. Watson was appointed to a G7 advisory body for women's rights in 2019, consulting with leaders on foreign policy. Her modeling work has included campaigns for Burberry and Lancome. 
She also lent her name to a clothing line for the sustainable brand People Tree. In 2020, she joined the board of directors of Kiering, a luxury brand group, in her capacity as an advocate for sustainable fashion. In 2023, she launched Renace, a gin brand that she co-founded with her brother Alex. The gin was inspired by the wine region of Chablis, where her family has been making wine for 30 years. Emma Watson has been linked to a number of people over the years, but she has only confirmed a few relationships. Her first public relationship was with rugby player Tom Ducker in 2006. They dated for a few months before breaking up. In 2008, Watson was linked to actor Tom Felton, who played Draco Malfoy in the Harry Potter films. They both denied dating, but there were rumors that they had a crush on each other. In 2011, Watson was linked to Glee actor Cord Overstreet. They were spotted together a few times, but the relationship never seemed to be serious. In 2012, Watson was linked to businessman Jay Barrymore. They were seen having lunch together in London, but it was never confirmed if they were dating. In 2015, Watson started dating tech entrepreneur William Mack Knight. They were together for two years before breaking up in 2017. In 2019, Watson was linked to California businessman Leo Robinton. They were seen kissing in London and seemed to be very serious. However, in 2023, it was reported that they had broken up. As of 2023, Emma Watson is not publicly dating anyone. She has said that she is happy being self-partnered and that she is not in a rush to get married. Watson has said that she is open to marriage and children in the future, but she is not in a hurry to settle down. She is focused on her career and her activism work, and she is happy with her life as it is. Emma's passion for activism and social justice has been an integral part of her public image. As a UN Women Goodwill Ambassador, she has championed gender equality and women's rights. Her work in promoting education for girls through the He For She campaign has brought critical issues to the forefront of global discussions. Watson is an outspoken feminist. She has promoted education for girls, traveling to Bangladesh and Zambia to do so. In July 2014, she was appointed a UN Women Goodwill Ambassador. That September, an admittedly nervous Watson delivered an address at UN headquarters in New York City to launch the UN Women Campaign He For She, which aims to urge men to advocate for gender equality. In that speech she said she began questioning gender-based assumptions at age 8 when she was called bossy, a trait she has attributed to her being a perfectionist, whilst boys were not, and at 14 when she was sexualized by certain elements of the media. Watson's speech described feminism as the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities, and declared that the perception of feminism as being man-hating is something that has to stop. The speech made worldwide headlines from both major news outlets and fashion blogs, and the organization's website crashed after press coverage of the event. Watson later said she received threats within less than 12 hours of making the speech, which left her raging. If they were trying to put me off, women's rights work it did the opposite. Emma's commitment to philanthropy knows no bounds. She has donated generously to various causes and organizations, working tirelessly to make the world a better place. Her advocacy extends to environmental issues, human rights, and poverty alleviation, setting an example for others to follow. With her grace, intelligence, and dedication to important causes, Emma Watson has garnered a positive and influential public image. She has remained authentic and true to herself, earning the respect and admiration of fans and peers alike. Watson has often been cited as a role model, though she shies away from the term, stating that it puts the fear of God into her impact on teenage girls' view of women's rights has been referred to as the Emma Watson effect, with respondents from a National Citizen Service survey stating that her work in activism had inspired them to label themselves feminists. In her initial post-Harry Potter career, she was noted to focus on smaller films rather than big-budget studio films. Adam White of The Independent states that Watson's acting style possesses a very human sensitivity and quiet strength. Describing Watson's off-screen persona, Derek Blasberg of Vanity Fair has called her a shy, friendly, intelligent, and down-to-earth. Steinem has described her as way more like a real person than a movie star, while author Bell Hooks considers her to be part of a very different, new breed, of actors, who are interested in being whole and having a holistic life, as opposed to being identified with just wealth and fame. While Emma is known for her humanitarian efforts, 
she keeps her religious beliefs private, valuing her personal spirituality as a guiding force in her life. Emma Watson burst into the spotlight at the tender age of 11 when she was cast as Hermione Granger in the film adaptation of J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. Her portrayal of the clever and strong-willed witch captured the hearts of millions worldwide, and Emma quickly became a household name. Her talent and maturity as an actress earned her widespread recognition and critical acclaim. In 1999, casting began for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the film adaptation of British author J.K. Rowling's best-selling novel. Casting agents found Watson through her Oxford theatre teacher, and producers were impressed by her confidence. After eight auditions, producer David Heyman told Watson and fellow applicants Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grint that they had been cast in the roles of the school friends Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, and Ron Weasley, respectively. Rowling supported Watson from her first screen test. The release of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in 2001 was Watson's debut screen performance. The film broke records for opening day sales and opening weekend takings and was the highest grossing film of 2001. Critics singled out Watson for particular acclaim, the Daily Telegraph called her performance admirable, and IGN said she stole the show. Watson was nominated for five awards for her performance in Philosopher's Stone, winning the Young Artist Award for Leading Young Actress. A year later, Watson reprised her role as Hermione in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the second installment of the series. Reviewers praised the lead actor's performances. The Los Angeles Times said Watson and her co-stars had matured between films, while the Times criticized director Chris Columbus for underemploying Watson's hugely popular character. Watson received an auto award from the German magazine Bravo for her performance. Watson's filming for the final installment, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, began on February 18, 2009 and ended on June 12, 2010. For financial and scripting reasons, the original book was divided into two films which were shot consecutively. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1 was released in November 2010 while the second film was released in July 2011. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 2 became a commercial and critical success. The highest grossing film in the franchise, it grossed more than $1.3 billion worldwide and proved to be Watson's most commercially successful film to date. After concluding the iconic Harry Potter series, Emma Watson embarked on a path of artistic exploration, choosing diverse roles in independent films and mainstream projects. Her first film in this period was Regression, 2015, a psychological thriller directed by Alejandro Amenabar. She played Angela, a young woman who accuses her father of sexual abuse. The film was a critical and commercial disappointment. In the midst of her film career, Watson also continued her education. Watson's work in this period showed her growing range as an actress. She was able to successfully transition from the child star of the Harry Potter films to a respected actress in independent and mainstream films. Her performances in The Perks of Being a Wallflower and The Bling Ring were particularly acclaimed, and she cemented her status as one of the most talented young actresses in Hollywood. Beyond her acting pursuits, Emma Watson has also established herself as a prominent figure in the fashion world. Known for her impeccable sense of style and advocacy for sustainable and ethical fashion, she has become a role model for conscious and responsible fashion choices. In 2005, Watson began her modeling career with a photo shoot for Teen Vogue, which made her the youngest person to cover the magazine. Three years later, the British press reported that Watson was to replace Kira Knightley as the face of Chanel, but this was denied by both parties. In June 2009, following several months of rumors, Watson confirmed she would be partnering with Burberry as the face of their autumn-slash-winter 2009 campaign, for which she received an estimated six-figure fee. Watson stated she hoped d to influence decisions that will impact future generations and the world that we leave them and was extremely excited to collaborate with the Keering Foundation as part of their women's rights work and look forward to making a difference behind the scenes. In August 2022, Watson became the face of Prada Beauty's new fragrance paradox. She starred, directed, wrote and narrated the short film for the fragrance's promotional campaign. Emma Watson's talents extend beyond the silver screen. She has appeared in television shows and music videos, collaborating with artists from different creative fields, and leaving her mark in various forms of entertainment. Her first music video, I Almost Do, by Taylor Swift, was created by a fan named American Sunshine in 2012. 
The video features clips from the Harry Potter films edited together to match the lyrics of the song. Emma Watson's television career is relatively limited. She has only appeared in a handful of television shows, including The Vicar of Dibley, 2015 a one-episode guest appearance as Reverend Iris. Smosh, 2014 a one-episode guest appearance as herself. Emma Watson's remarkable contributions to the arts, philanthropy, and activism have earned her numerous awards and nominations. From acting accolades to humanitarian honors, she continues to receive recognition for her unwavering dedication to creating a positive impact. Here are some of her most notable accolades. Acting Young Artist Award for Best Leading Young Actor in a Feature Film for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, 2001. National Movie Award for Best Female Performance for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, 2005. Empire Award for Best Actress for the Perks of Being a Wallflower, 2012. Teen Choice Award for Choice Movie Actress, Drama for the Perks of Being a Wallflower, 2012. People's Choice Award for Favorite Movie Actress for the Perks of Being a Wallflower, 2012. Humanitarian. UN Women Goodwill Ambassador, 2014. Glamour Women of the Year Award for Philanthropist of the Year, 2014. Time 100 List of the Most Influential People in the World, 2015. Daisy Award for Outstanding Contributions to Gender Equality, 2016. Harvard Kennedy School's Women's Leadership Award, 2017. Emma Watson's journey from a talented young actress to a global icon of change exemplifies the power of passion and purpose. Her unwavering commitment to using her platform for good, along with her outstanding performances in the entertainment industry, continues to inspire generations. As she ventures into new chapters of her life, we eagerly anticipate the incredible impact she will undoubtedly continue to make on the world. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey through the life of Emma Watson. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to spread the message of positivity and change. Until next time, let us all remember that with a little bit of magic and a lot of determination, we too can be heroes in our own right. Goodbye everyone. See you again the next video.